Hey guys, so I am back this week. This week, I'm doing a little video on my press play experience. So a few weeks ago, I went to press play in Chicago and it was honestly one of the best experiences of my life. So I thought in this week's video, since last week was kind of like a mini vlog thing, that I kind of wanted just to like explain my experience, maybe a little bit better and with words and stuff. So yeah. Okay, so when I left for press play, I wanted to leave my house at like 10 o'clock. I ended up leaving kind of late and I ended up getting to the hotel at around 11.30, almost 12 and stuff. And I wanted to get there by 12 since we had to be there by 1. And right when I got there, I was literally attacked. Like right when I got out of my car, I was attacked by all my friends and they were hugging me and stuff. And that was like a really good start to that. And then we were pretty much just like talking and like walking around and stuff and just sitting in the hotel and then this happens we see Wes okay and I I never saw Wes in my life I, I didn't even think he was like even like human or like a real person and I'm just sitting there and he's like passing by us and I'm such a smooth person like I don't know I just have a way with words he's walking by and I say hey dad and he just gave me the biggest laugh. It was so funny. So that was my first interaction with Wes. So there's that. And then afterwards, so we were all waiting in line and stuff to get in. And we had a group of 13 people. So we ended up having group two, which was actually pretty good since, like, we didn't want, like, to be the last group. So we are pretty good at two. So walk in. I, I really didn't know what to expect. I knew it was in a ballroom, but I didn't like understand like the layout, how it would be. And it was so casual when I walked in. Like I just see like everyone like kind of like stationed at different places. First we went into David and Dylan's line and like honestly, I really didn't know much about them. So I was kind of like nervous to meet them, but like I ended up meeting them with my friend Cass and it was actually like a lot of fun. Like they're really, easy to talk to and really fun and like I don't know they're just overall really good people and really nice and they just made it like really comfortable to talk to it kind of felt like I was talking to like close friends that I knew and like we were all just laughing and stuff so that was pretty fun alright y'all so since we're sitting now we're gonna do like a MacCon type photo like shoot alright so me and David are gonna act like MacCon I think After I went to them, um, I ended up going into Orion's line, and she was really nice too. Like, I knew about her, but like, I just didn't like know a lot about her. Like, I knew who she was and stuff, but like, I don't know. Like, I knew her from maybe like 2014, but I just never really got like into her. And she was really nice. Like, she looks intimidating to be honest, but she's like super nice. And like, we took a Snapchat and everything. She asked me my name. She complimented my makeup, and I was like, I was shook like <clears throat> the amount of times I said shook that day is like insane like I wish I counted it because it was at least over 100 times after I met her I honestly really don't remember what I did after that because it took a while in a couple of the lines I think I went into Taylor and Joey's line I went to theirs and they were super nice and stuff and like I didn't really didn't know what to do so I had to kind of like like push the conversation and stuff and like they were cool and like they were like talking about my hair i didn't know they were talking about my hair because they're like looking behind me i thought they were like saying there was something on my jacket but they were talking about my hair and i was like oh okay after i went into joey and taylor's line now i kind of don't remember now i kind of got like messy because this was, this was probably like a good hour in i think we ended up going to go meet Wes because we were supposed to meet him at two o'clock they told us to be at his room but they weren't ready like they were still with the first group like they weren't even done with ours so we we're waiting in line and David told us to um to just wait till 2 45 and come back because they would start bringing us in then there so I think after that we ended up going back into the room and we saw Cody R and he was literally just like all over the place like I honestly love Cody Ryle like I don't know like I make fun of him a lot and stuff but he's honestly like really cool and he has like resting bitch face so he was kind of intimidating to go up to 
but he's really cool. We went up to him and we were talking to him for a while about like, I don't even know, like random stuff. And we took some pictures and that was it with him. And then we saw Jack Dale, but like, I don't know. Mm. After that, we just kind of like stayed around and just did like random stuff. And we ended up going back into Wes's meet and greet. And they were finally letting us in. It literally took forever, like, like forever. I was like jamming out and he had a really good playlist on like his Bluetooth. It was really good and he had like some Justin songs and like there's some Ariana like there was fun stuff. His work by Rihanna and he literally started twerking. It was yeah. <laughs> iconic. He went up and he gave like this like really like empowering and like emotional speech and I wish I recorded it but I got a recording from someone else so I'm gonna show that. <laughs> I've never been so happy in my entire life. In my entire life. I, I hope that gives you hope because like, I know like 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, still 19, it's hard as fuck to live. It's hard to be yourself, especially now. Like, but I promise you, when you come to terms with who you are, when you start living as the person you want to be, everything will work out. It will be so happy. I'll be here watching you help you go so that was the speech and it was like I don't know I was just like oh like like I don't know it was so cute and then okay it was my turn I honestly was gonna have like a panic attack like I wasn't ready it was my turn and he turned around and I literally had like the biggest smile on my face like I'm literally like laughing thinking about it and I saw him and I was like why is and I had like my arms open and stuff it was so cute hey. <laughs> And like, Rhett he's like, hey, like, hey, how are you? I was like, good. And, and it's like, like really, really, really good. I was like, yeah. He's like, and he's like, how come? I was like, cause I'm with you. Uh, I was being like so cheesy and like flirtatious, which is weird. Cause I'm never like that. And then like, I kept holding his hand, which is weird. Cause I never hold hands with anyone. Like any person I've ever met, I am not a touchy person. So like, I don't know, this is really weird. And then I kept like holding his hand and stuff. And then he was like, here, hold my hand and stuff. And I was like looking at his tattoo, the one that he has on his um, hand. And I was like looking and I was like grazing over it and stuff. And then like, he was like holding my hand in his and he was like, your hand's so small. I was like, yeah, I know. And then we were talking for a bit about stuff and yeah it was just like really like i don't know he's like such a really good person and so caring and like i really feel like a connection when i talk to him and so comfortable when i talk to him and then after that we took our picture and that was really cute and then i wanted him to make a tattoo for me so i can get it done when i'm older and i didn't know what i wanted him to write i literally told him to write whatever he wanted I was like, literally put whatever you want. He's like, well, I don't want to do that. Like, what if I write something stupid? You're going to have that on you forever. I was like, okay. I was like, I'll put something like inspirational or something, I guess. And he's like, oh, I don't know, like what? And I was like giving him like all these ideas. I was like, you could even put something like, okay, okay, all right. He's like, okay, I'll do that. And he wrote that and I got that on a piece of paper and I'm going to end up getting that tattoo. So. And then after Wes, I literally cried like, mm, let's not go into that. Okay. Next, we went back into the room. And Mingri was almost over, like, there were people, like, I don't know, more people got let in, so it was getting kind of busy and stuff. And I went into Drew's line and Madeline's line, and it was, like, full, like, like, there was this girl in front of me, I'm gonna call her out, I don't know her name, I have no clue who she is, but she was with them for, like, ten minutes. I was like, hold up. They weren't even just, like, talking, they were taking, like, 30 pictures. I was like, dude, like, so I ended up getting fed up and left his line. And then Mike and Christian, like, I think they were getting rushed because I think the show was going to start because it got pushed back too. They were kind of like leaving their line and stuff. So I was like, oh crap, like I have to meet them or something, even if it's like really quick. So they were like leaving and walking around. So I took a pic with Christian, like, and just like said hi briefly, which I felt really bad, like, because I really like talking to people when I meet them. I don't like just taking photos. And same thing with Mike, like I just took a quick picture with him, which I mean like I 
I can say I met them, but it's like you didn't talk to them, which kind of sucks. So hopefully if I see them again, I'll actually get to talk to them because I really like doing that. I saw uh, Cody Urbinko and he was actually leaving. Like, I don't know where he was going. He was leaving the ballroom. I was like, Cody, we have to take a picture. And like, I mean, I wanted to talk to him, but he seemed to be in a hurry. I took a picture and then I went to go in to hug him and stuff. And these girls behind me, they just like, I don't know. They like went to attack me or something. Like they were like grabbing at him. And I was like, oh my God. And then he ended up pulling me into him and I hugged him really quick. <laughs> I have a video of that. That was pretty funny. And that was actually a video by my friend Paulinka. I honestly, like, I honestly look so dumb in that, but what are you gonna do? For the concert, that started pretty late. So I ended up just moving from that spot and going around. I ended up doing um, the mannequin challenge, and that was so funny. <laughs> that I ended up moving my spot to the other side of the stage and I was there for like the whole show and then well Christian came on first he performed I was like watching him and stuff but it, I just felt better like sitting in the back because I was so crowded by people I honestly couldn't deal so I was in the back and I was like dancing with my friends and we were like jamming out We went and we sat like outside and we were just sitting and stuff like taking pictures and we saw Cody H and he's just walking around we're just sitting on our phones and I'm like Cody high five he goes and he high fives me and he goes and he like grabs my hand like like we high five and then he goes like that like he grabs my hand and he had rings on his finger so literally he went like that and I was like I was like please and we ended up going back in Christian came back on or maybe I have it flipped around. I honestly don't even remember. And then Wes was going to come on. So I was like, yes. And I ended up going to like the end part of the stage and stuff. And he was singing with Christian. That was lit. They were singing next to you. I was like, yes. Wes was gonna bring people on stage and I was honestly like like he ended up picking me and I was like what he was like just picking people in the crowd and he looked right at me and he was like you I was like me I was like what like you picked me and I ended up going up there and like it was a lot of fun dancing on stage and I got to hug Wes again I was like yes he smells so good oh my god and then like after that I was like I was, I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna say it a million times, I was shook, shook, and after that, that was like so much fun, and he kept like dancing and stuff, and then during uh, Love Bug, he was singing by the Jonas Brothers, he grabbed my hand, like I was like reaching for dear life to be close enough to the stage for him to grab my hand, and he grabbed it, I was like, thank you, God. West. they're pretty much done I didn't really know what else to do so I ended up leaving I told my mom that they'd be done at like 8 o'clock 8 30 I told her just because I wanted to stay a little bit longer and not leave I really wanted to go to URL but I couldn't go because it was kind of late so after that we're like walking out I see Jack Dale I'm literally so mean I was like hey it's Jack fail and he like literally like turned trying to see who said that he was like what and I was like and then yeah we walked around to the front and I was sitting there with two of my friends Ari and Bree and like I don't know I felt really bad because I didn't get to say bye to any of my other friends and then we see Taylor and he's walking by and like everyone's walking around so then Taylor he made a snapchat on my phone so there's that hey guys what's up just hanging out with my best friend Lit. Lit. And then after that, 
we just talked for a little bit with him and then he left and then like I just talked with my friends and stuff and soon I got the text that no one wants to get when they're at an event and it was I'm here to pick you up I was like no no I, I really wasn't ready to leave like I was literally just thinking about like what if I just like pretended that I'm not here or something I gave the wrong address I don't know but I had to go home so yeah that was my press play experience hopefully I didn't make it too lengthy and I included the main highlights and stuff overall it was a really fun experience like I definitely do want to go again not just for less but like the overall experience was so much fun and really regret not meeting Andrew or Enya or Tina or even Drew and Madeline and all that like like they're really cool people and I feel like if people have the opportunity to go meet them and go to press play they should because it's so much fun so yeah I'm gonna see you guys next week and it's gonna be tons of fun so peace out